Thank you, Lord. And I also heard in the area of technology about uh, some creative apps that are going to provide opportunity for uh, just people who have the ability to create them, that there's going to be apps that are going to be uh, really accepted and desired by the um, by people, and that if you if God gives you an app for something, whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in banking, whether it's in finance, wh whatever it is, if He gives you an app, go ahead and develop it because there's going to be an anointing upon it that'll be, bring a blessing financially to you, and the the app will be a blessing to those. Amen. Amen. And next we have Nations and Governments uh, by Elder Robin Altland. Would you welcome her, please? Amen. Um, it, the Lord gave me one very big uh, point tonight, and that is that, and it goes very much along with what Prophet Catherine was saying, and that is that there is a global foundations that are shaking this year. Um, and the Lord says, be encouraged. Uh, there were, for those that have a solid foundation, uh, all that's going to get shaken is just rubble that has gotten in the way. Uh, for those that are unstable, the foundations are going to change. Uh, and God is honoring the prayers of those in nations where there has been tremendous persecution and tremendous um, uh, attacks uh, and even martyrdom. And the Lord said that he is beginning now uh, the bowls. I saw the golden bowls uh, of the prayers of the saints and the tears being turned out and God was beginning to honor. Um, I, 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 I'm not typically a seer, but a, as I was praying over this, um, I, I saw what was uh, a, um, a sifting pan, you know, the very large sifting pans. And God was throwing nations onto this sifting pan. And there was a nonstop shaking that was happening throughout the pan. And I saw things falling through that needed to fall through. But it was also creating, uh, I began to see cracks in the foundations. And as I looked, God began to put names to some of the things that I saw. Some of the large uh, boulders that got put on this pan. Uh, and uh, the two, the first two that I saw were North and South Korea. Uh, and as I began to see the shaking, what were two large boulders began to break up and God began to move them and what was left was only one boulder. Uh, and I really do believe that God was saying that we will see uh, a redemption out of North and South Korea, that the prayers of the saints have been honored and that God is releasing his answer to that in this year. And I believe we'll see a significant shift this year. Um, another nation that came up was China. And I saw China as one very large boulder and I saw China begin to split in two. Uh, and the Lord said that what has been happening is that China is, um, is almost becoming schizophrenic in and of itself. Uh, and that those who have been praying, and there is uh, a, a portion of that nation that has been turning towards God and has been turning and, and turning their ears and their hearts towards God, and that God has been prevailing in that situation, uh, and that there is a split coming in the governance of China, and you're going to begin to see some cracks in um, the, the one solid front that has always been China. Uh, and you're going to start to hear some dissent. You're going to start to hear some other names beginning to come out. Uh, and that God is shaking and loosening the hold uh, of the old hard lines that have controlled China for so long. You'll see that happening this year. Japan was another one that I saw. Uh, and I saw Japan thrown on uh, as a very small rock. And as it began to shake, other rocks began to gather around it. Uh, and what the Lord was saying was that Japan uh, has become, uh, uh, has been very fragmented uh, and in its own eyes has become very small. There's a shift coming in the national consciousness in Japan. And they're beginning to see themselves differently. But the Lord said that he has put his stamp on Japan, uh, and there has been a small core, uh, but a very dedicated core that has been interceding for Japan, uh, and that there be a shift 
that is happening. And God said, you're going to begin to see some of that shift this year. Look especially to the leadership in Japan. There are going to be some significant shifts. Uh, and for those who know about the Japanese uh, culture and know the names, these are not the names that people would have expected. And God is placing his people in very key positions there. Uh, the last one that I saw uh, was a very large boulder, and it represented the, the southern half of the African continent. Uh, and the Lord said that I have been doing my work uh, in the southern half of the African continent. And, and there has been uh, a gathering uh, of not just one nation. It started out of South Africa, uh, but it has been gathering nations around it. What you began to see in Zimbabwe uh, this past year and the shift that occurred that many people didn't think would ever occur, certainly not uh, as smoothly as it did, uh, God said that I, I put my hand into that situation to stem the flow uh, of another round of violence. And the Lord said, because of the prayers of the nations around it, uh, I am beginning to gather these nations as one. And you'll begin to hear more and more uh, of there a coalition of nations beginning to rise up in the southern part of the continent of Africa and beginning to move out. And you're going to begin to see a massive evangelistic um, thrust that moves from the southern part of Africa into the northern areas. Uh, and I saw specifically uh, Libya and Sudan, uh, that God was invading those nations and beginning to tear down some of those structures that the enemy thought that he had established. Uh, and so there's going to be a tremendous revival fire begin to move from South Africa up through the continent of Africa, and we're going to begin to hear of uh, uh, tremendous shifts in not only governments, but in discoveries, technologies, uh, and many natural resources are going to be able to be harnessed that in the past simply could not happen because of the leadership and the corruption. Amen. Amen.